All right, so uh, tonight I'm installing the uh, front and rear main seal. I'm installing these uh, Corteco or uh, you know CFW as it might be known as well um, crankshaft seals. Now these are a PTFE seal. As you can see, there's no support ring behind there, and these need to be installed in a very specific way. So the sealing lip, which is right here, this is what seals to the uh, to the uh, harmonic balancer or the harmonic balancer hub that is very sensitive and uh, with these seals you do not want to use any type of lubricant when installing it uh, that'll pretty much prevent it from ever sealing uh, in addition um, since I'm installing the seal with the timing cover on I have uh, this BMW special tool right here you can see the part number is 113280 that's the BMW special number the full 11 digit number is below that. Uh, this, along with the uh, crankshaft bolt, will push the new seal into place. Uh, I've just chosen to use uh, this crankshaft seal installer because you know, this number one is made for the job. And number two, um, it's a pretty tight seal and since the crankshaft sticks out a little bit, there's no way to use a normal seal driver. So we're just gonna get this located into place. And like I said, do not use any type of lubrication when installing this style seal. So we got this thing pretty even. And there we go. Easy peasy. And this goes just even with the timing cover. So I actually will just back the bolt off. Looking nice. Just the way we want it. Could go just a little bit further. So we want it to sit parallel with the timing cover. Or even with the timing cover. Here we go. Perfect installation. And obviously, uh, this tool made that a breeze. I don't know how else you would go about installing one of these without it. Um, sure, you can come up with something, a socket that fits over it, but that made it easy. And this is relatively cheap. To be honest with you, the tool is cheaper than the seal. Uh, so this is one of those circumstances where um, just getting the tool could save you the frustration of ruining a seal. Um, you know, these don't want to press in 100% evenly right off the bat, uh, but this definitely makes sure that the force is even and everything goes in smoothly. All right, and so now here's the rear main seal. And what's interesting about the rear main seal on this engine is it's part of this um, timing cover or engine block cover. Uh, so we're going to have to reseal this when we mount it back up, but we also have a special uh, seal installer for this as well. Like I said, the uh, special tools from BMW make this easy because these are dissimilar or very odd sized seals so uh, to me this is one of those situations where the investment of those tools especially if you ever plan on building another one of these engines uh, is going to make your life much much easier so I'm going to show you that next we're just going to go ahead and get this off um, you know when we put the oil pan back on we left these bolts loose these actually go straight up into this cover here so we never actually tighten these well these outer bolts don't go there but <clears throat> That's fine. Never fully tighten these so we can just pull them right back out nice and easy. So we got, uh, let's see, two tens that come up from underneath here, two thirteens, and four more tens. There we go. A little, a little dramatic there. But as you can see, that is the rear main seal housing, rear main seal cover, whatever you'd like to call it. That is where the rear main seal is pressed into. All we're really going to do is just clean this up, uh, remove the factory seal here, clean the sealing surface back up here, because uh, we'll be using a new gasket to seal it to this. And uh, we'll also be using a little bit of RTV to seal the oil pan there. 
but we'll get to that here in a minute. Just gonna go ahead and clean everything up. So here's our new uh, rear main seal. So you can see this has a plastic sleeve on it. Uh, you're gonna wanna keep that for installation of the rear main seal onto the vehicle. Now, done a really good job cleaning this rear main seal cover. And we have this installation tool that fits perfectly, and I mean perfectly, onto this seal. Now, now I do not have a hammer with me. Uh, I didn't bring any from work. So I need to drive this seal in, and I think that I could actually do it um, using uh, the handle of the uh, engine lift, believe it or not. Shouldn't take much effort to get this in. So we'll give it a shot. It's going. And there we have it, a perfectly installed rear main seal. We're gonna slip this um, installation piece back in, and that just protects the inner lip of that seal, and you're gonna need this for installation. And here's the seal driver I used. Um, again, this is a uh, factory BMW tool, 111260. That's the part number for this driver. And this driver is needed um, because quite frankly, I don't know how else you would be able to set the depth of this without it. Um, you know, it's a very, it's a very precise fit. And you know, this driver sets the depth of the rear main seal. Now your other option, instead of buying the tool is to get the rear main seal kit which is, you know, totally viable option. Um, but I just chose to install my own rear main seal, and that's what it should look like. All right, first thing we're going to do is install this rear main seal uh, metal gasket. Should just slip over the dowels. And, you know, it's a relatively tight fit, but should bottom out. You don't want to twist it. Next, we're gonna lay a thin bead of the dry bond 1209. Since so we have a, a 90 degree angle here, this is basically just used as a filler. Very similar to the front timing cover or even the valve cover gasket. There we go. And now we're going to get a rear main seal ready for installation. And you can see as I was pushing that on, it uh, just fell off that, that installation tool. And that installation tool basically goes around the edge of the crankshaft and it guides the seal on. All the PTFE seals you'll see have that kind of installation, especially when it's up against something like this. But like I said, that's just a quick introduction on how to deal with these types of seals. Just one quick item I want to knock off the list tonight, so I figured I might as well just uh, install them, talk about the tools. Uh, you know, like I said, these special seal drivers from BMW, uh, they make this job way easier than if you didn't have it. I, honestly, I don't think you can actually install one of these seals unless you have the tool. Um, you know, at least in terms of setting the depth on and everything like that, um, you know, all that stuff is very critical. So I'd just rather have the tool and not screw with it. That's just me. Especially rear main seal, don't want to do that job again. Of course, you can't buy the rear main seal kit, which includes the new cover, except those are like 90 to 100 bucks. So, um, looking to uh, penny pinch, you know, you can buy the tool for 40 bucks, buy the seal for 20. Next time you have the tool for uh, installing the seal. So, uh, like I said, just a quick one. Hope you learned something. Any questions or comments, leave in the box below, and I'll see you for the next one.